A committee person is an unpaid elected position in a political party with the closest access to the voter in each election precinct. According to a 2004 survey by the United States Election Assistance Commission, there's an average of 1,100 registered voters in each precinct in the United States. The committee person has two powerful duties and responsibilities. First, go to your political party's convention and vote on who your party will publicly recommend to the voters at the upcoming primary election. That means that one committee person recommendation could potentially be worth approximately 1,100 votes. The committee person can vote on to recommend candidates as high as the President of the United States and as small as a local council person or school board member. The second big responsibility, communicate that recommendation to the voters before and on Election Day. I spoke to three people, a political activist, a party leader, and a committee person about this power of a committee person, and here's what they had to say. First, activist, Susan Settenbrino, a, uh, an attorney who wrote a book about anti-corruption and reforming the judiciary. Settenbrino, Settenbrino quoted from a bar association manual for lo young lawyers of that bar association. The bar association admitted that judicial elections are primarily determined de facto at the nomination stage. And the election, well, that's just a formality. Please note the monumental implications of what Settenbrino is saying in this video clip. When one political party is dominant in a county, future judges of the county are selected at the committee person nominating stage. The actual election is merely a formality. I also spoke with the former executive director of the Pennsylvania Delaware County Democratic Party to discuss the impact of the committee person in primary elections. Primary elections are critical in locations with one party dominance where there's no competitive general election. And as that statistic showed that 86% of house races can be predicted, it's a pretty wide number where that primary election is important. Many of us do not realize what the impact the committee people can have in the party, in the state, and in the overall politics. The committee people votes to nominate the candidate of their precinct or their municipality or the state. Their vote decides whose name will be on the ballot, how powerful it could be. County, state, and even if you go in the bigger picture in nationally, because the vote counts even at a national level. When the endorsement happens, the committee people are the one who's voting. You're make, shaping the future of this country. Two recent congressional primary races in Delaware County give a perfect example of the power of the committee person. In 2016, Mary Elm Balkunis defeated Bill Golderer in the Democratic primary despite her only having a fraction of his fundraising, fundraising ability. She was supported overwhelmingly by the Democratic committee endorsement, having been a lifelong Delaware County resident and political activist. Two years later, in 2016, in that same district, Delaware County, 16 candidates sought the Delaware County Democratic nomination, and the race was decided by the strongest committee support, committee person support, as the ultimate congresswoman, Mary Gay Scanlon, got 218 committee person votes compared to only 155 for the second place candidate. The third person I spoke to, a longtime committee person, Diane Lian, educated voters on the power of the state committee, the group responsible for the election of state officials. It is the body that sets the state platform for all of our um, local elections. It supports our, excuse me, for all of our elections in Pennsylvania, other than national ones. The national party sets its own um, uh, platform. But, you know, each state has its own platform um, and we set that as members of state committee. What are, what are our principles and our standings on education, on crime, on diversity, 
on uh, discrimination on all kinds of issues. There's there are different planks, and how the Democratic Party or the Republican Party, for that matter, of De of Delaware County or of the state of Pennsylvania are going to run is based on that platform, um, and it's their job to evaluate candidates and then vote on them for an endorsement. Now, an endorsement just means that that's who the party rep who the party um, suggests we vote for. When voters come to a polling place and they see state recommended candidate for governor's race or any of these statewide judges mm -hmm. and they see Democratic Party endorsed candidate, does state committee have anything to do with that? Yes. They, the state committee does a recommendation or a, a, an endorsement for as, as we're talking about. They make that endorsement to the counties. They basically, they go up to Harrisburg, they make this, they have this big meeting where they then endorse, and they re send that recommendation out to the counties. The counties then take that recommendation along with their, whatever local races they have, and they present it to their committee people. It's up to the committee people, the local committee people, to vote to endorse that or to not endorse it. And, and if they endorse it, that's the ballot you see. If they don't endorse it, then you see a different ballot. The committee person has a big role to play in all of this, I mean, because it, of why? Because it's the, it's their vote. They are the ones that vote. The committee person has a second job. Each election, the committee person stands at the polls and yes. hands out to each voter who hopefully they formed a relationship and yes. said, "Look, I have researched this candidate. This candidate is more for us, the voter." He is for you. It is my recommendation that you vote for him, right. which is a powerful political sure. tool in making well, policy. Well, that's the idea. That's, that takes us back to all politics are local. If your committee person ha takes advantage of the job, uh, and that is to um, form relationships with voters and, and get to know people at the polling place, then they're going to listen to him or her. So they, they can influence who people vote. They can make recommendations that people are going to listen to. So that's you know, why it's, I think, one of the, well, it's hands down one of the most important jobs. It is the local committee that does all the grassroots work. You see there's a network of powerful committee people who act as a go-between between the elected officials and the general voting public. Each committee person makes recommendations to approximately 1,100 precinct voters as a representative of that political party. The voice of the committee person is supposed to be one of knowledge and authority, someone who conducts a candidate screening process with independent research, interviews, and meeting with those potential candidates. Whether you support civil rights, anti-corruption, family court reform, or good conservative values, if you want your voice to be heard in government, volunteer to become a committee person. Contact your local political party, whether it's the Republicans, the Democrats, Independent or other, and become a party insider, a representative and voice of the voters. Then your protest voice and your voting voice becomes 1,000 times stronger. I hope you like this episode. Please watch other videos on my YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for new videos. To learn more about my legal services, click the links in the description section of this YouTube video or on one of the video links on your screen. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.